Hello friends, I feel iOS 14 is a privacy friendly software update by Apple and Apple has packed some unique and useful privacy features in iOS 14. So today I'm sharing a quick list of my favorite iOS 14 privacy features. So the first privacy feature I want to discuss is the feature which will be very helpful to you in keeping a track of the apps which are trying to steal your data in the background. So whenever you try to copy and paste the data from one app to another or even between Apple devices, iPhone will show this little prompt at the top of the screen. This will tell you the name of the apps that are trying to copy the data from one another. If you remember, TikTok was one of the apps which was trying to access your clipboard like anything and that is one of the reasons why it is banned in India. Now what we need to understand is we should never ever copy any private credentials like username and passwords to the clipboard of your iPhone. For those who don't understand clipboard, it's a software thing working in the background on your iPhone. We cannot see it, I wish we could, but anything you copy on your iPhone is going to go into clipboard. It is going to be there temporarily. But when you launch any third party website after copying any data on your iPhone, third party website may access your clipboard and copy that data to their own app or their own servers. So you can lose your financial credentials in a minute. So you have to be very careful while copying any private credentials like passwords, usernames or banking details on your iPhone. And you must clear your clipboard regularly. I have made a separate tutorial on my channel which will help you to make a simple Siri shortcut which will help you to clear your clipboard in a second. I personally use that Siri shortcut to clear my clipboard every single day since the day I have made that shortcut. Link down in the description below. So now anytime any app tries to access camera on your iPhone, iPhone will show a tiny green dot indicator at the top of the screen. So when you see this little green dot indicator, you should understand that one of the apps is trying to access camera on your iPhone. This feature was already there on Mac and now it is brought to iPhone, which is a good thing. But there is one more interesting thing here. If you open the control center, it's going to show the name of the app that's trying to access the camera on your iPhone, which is really good. Recently, Instagram was exposed due to this feature on iOS. Instagram was accessing the camera even when the user was not using the camera. They were just scrolling through the feeds and still the green indicator was on. Then they said it was a bug and then they fixed it in the upcoming updates. But now you can understand how important this little feature is. Now similarly, when any app is trying to access the microphone of your iPhone, it's going to show a little orange dot at the top of the screen. And also you can see the name of the app in the control center. So now whenever you see those green and orange dots at the top of the screen on your iPhone and you're not using camera or microphone intentionally, then you should understand that your privacy is being compromised. This is also one of the cool privacy features in iOS 14. You can turn off precise location for the apps which don't need your exact location and would still be able to function properly. Now there could be instances where you want to use precise location just for that moment. Let's say in this maps app, we want to use the directions. So you can turn on precise location just for that moment. What you can do is simply tap on this precise location label here. And then you can turn on precise location only at that moment. After that, you can again go back to settings and put it off. Okay, there could be apps which need your precise location all the time like Uber, Maps, etc. But there are many apps that don't require your exact location. Let's say this Facebook app. You can use Facebook app without your precise location on and it will still work properly. You can still use all the features of Facebook without your precise location. So you need to decide which apps should access your precise location. So your iPhone is going to show you a prompt every time you launch any app that's trying to access your location. Then you can decide whether you want that app to access your precise location or not. Once you set the preference, that would be default for that app. And if you want to change it, you can go back to settings and you can change your preferences manually. So I found this feature very unique and useful, but let me know what do you think about this feature down in the comments section below. So this feature I've already covered in my earlier video and I thought of adding it into this video as well because I feel this is very important privacy feature. So when you go to Wi-Fi options in settings, you want to tap on this little I button here and then scroll down and turn on this toggle private address. What it's going to do is it's going to change your Wi-Fi address. It's going to put some fake Wi-Fi address here and this will prevent you from your network operators from tracking your iPhone. 
but you want to make sure once you put this toggle on on your iPhone, you want to turn off Wi-Fi connection of your iPhone once and then again turn it on. Then only this feature will start working immediately. So it's just a simple toggle, but it's gonna enhance your privacy to next level. I love this feature. So one of the fantastic privacy features in iOS 14 is this photos privacy feature. I can't tell you how many times I had to think before giving permission to access all my photos to all those third party apps, even if I had to work with a single photo, especially the photo and video editing apps. But now you have that option where you can choose selected photos and allow any particular app to access only to those selected photos. So you can add and remove photos for any particular app on your iPhone. It's all in your hand. Now there is one more network related privacy feature in iOS 14. So whenever you launch any app and if that app is trying to find and connect to other devices on the same Wi-Fi network, let's say in your house, then in that case iPhone will give you this prompt. You want to select don't allow if you don't want that app to connect to other devices in your house unnecessarily. You have separate section for this settings inside privacy option in iPhone settings. You can anytime put the toggles on and off. See, there could be apps that need to access your devices on the same Wi-Fi network in your house. For example, Chromecast app. If you're using Chromecast with your TV, YouTube and other apps which are supported by Chromecast need to access your Chromecast device which is connected to same Wi-Fi network. So in that case, you need to turn on the toggles. So you need to give access to those apps to access other devices on the same Wi-Fi network in your house. But not all apps need to do that. So you need to decide which apps to access all the devices connected to the same Wi-Fi network in your house. You need to decide it on the case to case basis. Safari was already safe for web browsing, but now Apple has made it very easy for us to see how Safari prevents our activities from trackers. This privacy report could be handy to see how trackers track your activities, but it's only for user information. We don't have any option to do anything here. However, it will show you the data about the most visited tracker, which visited the websites based on your activity. And also it will show you the trackers that are trying to track your activities. So we don't have to do anything. Safari will take care of your privacy in the background. Just make sure you enable this prevent cross-site tracking option in iPhone settings. I always prefer to use Safari for secure transactions and I have never faced any issue. By the way, that's my website. I'm still working on it and you can expect some good stuff on this website and I shall update you guys very soon. So this tracking feature is also related to your privacy. And even if you put this toggle on, it doesn't mean that your privacy is compromised. When you turn this toggle on, you're giving permission to apps to ask you to track your activities across website and apps. So if any app wants to track your activities, first it has to give you a prompt and then you want to decide whether to allow or not to track your activities across different websites and apps on your iPhone. So you can keep this toggle turned on and then later you can decide which app to give access to track your activities across websites and apps. But preferably for a better privacy, I would say simply turn it off. So that was a quick list of my favorite iOS 14 privacy features. Let me know which one was your favorite privacy feature from this list down in the comment section below. I would appreciate if you hit that like button if this video really helped and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.